everybody is talking about it so why not graham <laughs> potter has been sacked and really we are here to discuss two things one was sacking him a mistake and then two obviously who is going to replace him in this position right so yeah let's let's start off with like was sacking graham potter a huge mistake was hiring him in the first place a huge mistake uh i don't know about hiring i was skeptical earlier too regarding his sacking i'm just glad they didn't go the bayern route and announce it on social media <laughs> first and then talk to him this was probably more professionally done and maybe kudos to chelsea for that but hey we are on a spending spree and they just negotiated an exit which is still a spend for them <laughs> good on them uh but i really think this move doesn't make sense at this point in time where the season is 9 games away you have a big champions league fixture two legs you have qualified to a certain extent and the manager has had his hand to play in it it's not just that you qualified automatically i do understand that the premier league results haven't really been conducive and the way they've let go of results in the premier league it did not really reflect well on potter but you give a man half a season just throw money on some random players which probably he didn't even ask for and expect a certain number of points out of him then you're trying your luck this is like hitting the lottery if you hit it you hit it otherwise you've just spent money on waste paper yeah, we, maybe we, this just ended out that way yeah, we, we've seen it with steve cooper with nottingham forest as well right when you bring a whole bunch of players in it doesn't matter how good or bad the players are it takes time to bed them all in and bed them into a system especially when you're talking at a club as high profile as chelsea with all the players being under constant criticism uh, constant scrutiny i mean mudrick has not had a good time of his early chelsea run which honestly is no fault of him that his price tag was as high as it was he's still a very young player coming in a very new league um and i think the same um same luxury should have been afforded to graham potter everybody knew he was not a high profile manager everybody knows he's coming up from brighton it's a huge step up to come to chelsea we should have expected that it was going to be a slow bedding in period and and the management said themselves that they were going to judge him on months and not year, uh, on years and not months of of his performance at this stage i feel like unless you're going for an interim manager who's going to try and win you the champions league they should have just stuck with him you could have always had him leave uh, have him leave at the end of of the of of the season because uh, the biggest manager linked nagelsman has already said that he's not going to come or start a new job till the end of the season he's not going to pick up a team in the middle of the season um so i, I don't know what their idea was in terms of sacking him with only 9 games in the season left it doesn't make a lot of sense uh to me um i don't know if that makes sense to you either uh but let's talk about potential replacements right because a lot of names have been thrown around of course like we discussed the biggest name being nigelsman do, do you think he is the answer for this chelsea uh, project i certainly am skipping a beat here because i can't figure out whether he's a good option uh secondly he's just getting off of bundesliga need some time he, as he has said that he is going to take some time off not really jump into another contract in between the season chelsea are negotiating with him that's what the rumor mill says probably he could be someone who walks in through the door come june but for these nine games i think the best option from my perspective i really feel is continuing with their interim manager while looking at options like a pochettino even conte but i'm not sure if conte is another long term project uh, clearly todd bolhi and clearly the consortium don't really believe in long term because if their long term is like 8 months antonio conte is your man and he has delivered results with chelsea in the past if we don't forget so that could be one other name there I, are I, other names like zidane ancelotti who may be out of contract at the end of the season Roberto De Zerbi again a Brighton coach <laughs> could happen uh the slightly disgraced Brendan Rodgers who actually left Leicester amicably who else can i think of uh sporting manager Amorim maybe him i mean i personally i personally like the idea of Conte coming in for just these few games uh it's 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 
it's a perfect situation for him right it's a short term contract uh, it's right. a three man at the back system he's probably got two of the w- best wing backs in the world right now uh, the only thing he's probably lacking because he's got a workman workman like w- midfield as well kante is back fit kovic which is in there enzo fernandez is in there um and the only thing that's probably missing is an out and out number 9 uh but he still got ridiculous quality in that attack you know players like sterling havertz mount uh zia chiven um i think this is made for conte to come in and do a quick cameo maybe lift the champions league but at the very least get chelsea some sort of european football because he is a league manager and with 10 games left if chelsea win those games they can pretty much guarantee themselves at least some form of european football which then makes it easier for them to attract a slightly bigger profile name as well so i am all on board for giving conte uh, the reins for whatever 10 12 games that they can and seeing just what happens with it definitely not a long term option uh, for me i'm i'm more on board with you in terms of getting pochettino in over nigelsman proven manager in the premier league has already shown that he can work with youth has already shown that he can work with the system has already played football that fans have enjoyed and liked has already had experience taking a team to the champions league final as well a much much poorer team mind you as well i think pochettino is is almost a no brainer at this point if they can kind of negotiate all the right terms with him i was going to recommend maybe the spurs manager but spurs don't have a manager too right now. <laughs> it seems like spurs and chelsea just exchange manager contacts for example jose mourinho antonio conte <laughs> uh can't remember in fact your mourinho has been linked for a return back to stamford wow. bridge <laughs> i don't think he's quitting roma this time this is fun to watch <laughs> this is probably the 12th or 13th sacking in the premier league this number, season yes number 13 indeed yeah and over half and, the teams in the premier league have changed managers this season and mikel arteta suddenly becomes the third longest serving manager in the premier league although he just managed for 3 3 and a half seasons fourth, at fourth best fourth longest i think thomas frank okay. is number 3 right now yeah pep klopp frank and arteta <laughs> uh, i would assume arteta uh, no i would not take frank in or out because hey they were in the championship so technically Fair. we can talk about technicalities whenever but okay i'll take the fourth spot But Arsenal are not taking the fourth spot this season, just so you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let us know what you guys think. Did this sacking make sense? Uh, should Chelsea have waited a little bit longer? And if they were right, then who should they hire now? Uh, let us know down in the comments below. As always, please like, share, subscribe means a whole lot to us. And we will see you guys next time.